Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Hello everyone, Cassie Mattia here from Loveland Magazine and I am here at the Rosé Boutique and Wine Bar and I am super excited. I've had my eye on this location for a long time. I've wanted to come down. I've only been here once. I'm here with the owners, Bob and Colleen. How are you guys doing today? Great. Good. Great. Awesome. And thanks for having us. I really appreciate it. I know you guys have been busy. You've been all over the place in the community. I've seen you've been involved in so many events already. But what I really want to dive into is this concept. It's very unique. I know previously we've had bars in this location, et cetera, et cetera, but nothing that is authentic wine with vendors, which I'm assuming are local, local vendors for the boutique. Yeah, everything that's here I've picked out myself. Oh my gosh. That's, so, so how do you do that? How do you curate that? Uh, well, I started actually last January. We opened in March and I went to a market in Atlanta and basically just picked everything out from there. And then since then, I've just kind of been deciding what is working and what's not working and have just been going from there, what people like. Right, and, and I, it's very unique. I saw, you, it's like, um, I'm trying to think of the style, but it's very Southern to me. I don't know why. Yeah, like yeah, Southern right. Italy vibes. I don't know. We are Italian yes. and we live in Kentucky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so there you go. So I guess I was right. Um, now, Bob, now, correct me if I'm wrong, you have over 40 wines here? Yes, actually over 40 wines, and we're expanding today. We're releasing our new menu. We'll have over 50 to 55 wines by the glass available. Oh, heck yeah. And I know we've spoke before about your concept. I was here for the Loveland U reunion. Tell me a little bit more about the story behind the wine. But I know you do charcuterie boards. You yes. do all that yourself. I know you also said that you um, get cheeses from everywhere. You mm -hmm. get the meats from everywhere. So kind of tell me about that. Sure, we wanted to be a wine bar where you can try wines and learn about wines, which is why we offer everything by the glass. Mm. Sometimes that's risky right. because we might not use the whole bottle, Right. but we want people to be able to try different wines. We do wine flights here and what goes great with wine are meats and cheeses. So we mix it up. We do a lot of local cheeses, local meats. Uh, we make them all here in house. We do a whipped ricotta dip that pairs really well with a lot of our wines. Everybody loved that, I remember. Yes. In the six months we've been open, that's become a pretty fan favorite. We're actually releasing a new ricotta dip today in addition to that one. Now, are those whole made? Yes. By you? Yes. Now, so do you have like a culinary background or it's just, that's no. just, that's just your thing. You just got it. Yeah, I've always liked to cook and I've always liked wine and I mess around with different recipes until we got what we wanted. Um, today's new one we're introducing will be a garlic basil with balsamic with Ooh. crushed pistachios on top. Oh my gosh. Now that, so that would be, so there's still cheese in that though? Yes. Okay. It's still ricotta, a whipped ricotta gotcha. dip okay. in addition to our rosemary, thyme and honey. Now, do you have anything else on that food menu? I'm trying to remember. I know you had the charcuterie board. What other little hors d'oeuvres do you have to pair with the wines? So our charcuterie boards are really loaded. So they have obviously the meats and the cheeses, right. but we have chocolates on there. We have different Ooh, jams, yes. different Dijon's. Um, we offer a gluten-free option as well. And then for dessert for the sweet tooth, we have a flourless dark chocolate um, cake. That sounds amazing. Now, Colleen, let me ask, obviously you guys are Italian, I'm Italian, Italians for life, I love it, you know, I, I'm just, I love Italians. So tell me why this concept, why Loveland? Why did you wanna bring this over here? So it kind of fell into our lap. Um, the previous owner, their son played baseball with our son. Oh. And they knew that I always wanted to open a boutique and I finally have a little bit of time now. My right. daughter's in college, my son got his license. And Bob has always been interested in wine, and so it was just kind of the perfect fit. And we came to Loveland to check it out, and we just fell in love with Loveland. Now, do you have a fashion background, or it's just I one of your... I just like to You both just have this random <laughs> talents. I yeah, love it. I said my shopping addiction has paid off. Now, Colleen, I know the last time I was here, I was obsessed with the jewelry. Um, I actually purchased a necklace that I wear with everything. I don't have it on today because it didn't match my outfit. <laughs> but so tell me about the jewelry process because I see a lot of gold. I see a lot of unique colors. Um, is that local vendors as well? How do you go about selecting that? Uh, so I actually found that at the market in Atlanta as well, but Megan Brown, and that's, I'd say majority of my jewelry. Um, she's actually from Dublin, Ohio which oh. is really cool because I grew up in Columbus. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, and I just really try and do some fun, trendy jewelry that people can afford, that you can wear with everything. Um, we've got some really fun holiday stuff coming in. Yeah. So. 
I saw that on your Instagram page. You have some fall stuff. I know I see some Halloween stuff out right now. Yep. Are you going to continue doing holiday themed uh, decor and that kind of stuff as well? Oh, for sure. And Christmas is going to be huge. Oh, yeah. Because I love Christmas and I bought a lot for Christmas. Are you guys going to participate in Christmas in Loveland then, I assume? Yes. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I was going to say, I was like, you guys have already participated in a ton. Yeah. So does she dress you and style you or how does that work? <laughs> we don't have a men's line here besides a couple t-shirts. We have some wine and bourbon t-shirts over there. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to get that to the, maybe the next phase for yeah. the clothing here and apparel. Yeah. yeah that, these t-shirts today. Yes. Make poor decisions kind of our tagline with our self poor machines. Make poor decisions. Yes. I love that. And I, and I, the other thing I really like is right behind us, you have that rosé all day mm -hmm. backdrop with a cute little couch and then some starburst and it says tag. Tag you guys, right? Who came up yeah. with that idea? Uh, I don't know. Maybe... I, I think Both just with, yeah, Rosé being the, the way we came up with the name. Um, Rose means love. We're in Loveland. Our daughter's middle name is actually Rose, and then Rosé is a wine. So it's like made perfect sense to call it Rosé Boutique and Wine Bar. Then when you think of Rosé, you think of Rosé all day. Right, right. And so do a lot of people use that? Oh, yeah. Picture, it's a total picture area. Um, yeah, we have people that want to get the picture there they tag us on instagram they post it and they it, yeah, we see it all the time see and i know when i first got here that's what i was wanting to do take a picture right in front of that i think i got a picture with you picture. yeah yes, we got we a picture yes, together yes, yeah yes. so tell me a little bit more about the goal here so so what's the end game just to kind of mesh well into the community or do you have more things to look forward to do you want to expand i know you, i know you guys are new but like what's what's the future uh telling you um we like doing events here that's probably our favorite thing to host we do a lot of wine tastings here different sip and shops different um, types of gatherings mm -hmm. we like that a lot but as far as expansion um it, it would always be nice to get another shop closer to home but for now we just love it up here and um we try to use a lot of the local vendors up here as well. Like these shirts are made by Cincy Shirts. And oh, yeah. Yeah, we try okay. to use the restaurants around here. We really recommend people eating dinner at the restaurants around here. Right. And so um, I did see you guys do blind wine tastings. Correct. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, Bob would probably oh, Bob, Bob's it. a little bit more? Okay. Yeah, so we had our first one a few, about maybe two months ago. and we. Are you, are you literally blind, like... No, so we, we actually serve the wine in a covered bag so they don't know what they're drinking. Gotcha. And then we try to give them some wine knowledge and they try to guess what they're drinking. That's and then funny. the winners get a gift card. And so we, we're bringing it back for a second one because people love that one so much. Now, now what other events do you guys have, like annual? Uh, or not annual, but I guess like monthly, weekly. Do you do anything else that's special? Um, we try to do about two tastings a month with different themes. Whether We did a Spanish wine tasting. We did a um, we have a Halloween party type wine tasting coming up at the end of the month. So cool. We're going to have one around Thanksgiving where all the wines will be perfectly paired with a traditional Thanksgiving meal um, wow. so people can learn like which wines to pair with different parts of the dinner. Now what's your what's your Italian family think about this? Do, do oh, they, they love, love the it. concept? Yes. They've yeah. been here a few times. Yeah. Yes. yeah. What about the kids? Um, our daughter's away at college but when she was home she actually worked here for a few weeks. Oh okay. Yeah. And she, she's happy she loves it. Oh yeah oh, yeah gosh. she loves all the clothes the yes. Passion. Yeah that's awesome. So one of the most unique things that you guys do, which I absolutely love, is you have self-pouring mm -hmm. wine machines, which are right behind me. Um, you have 16 of them, mm -hmm. and then, of course, they can also try the ones off the yes. menu. So tell me, did you always want to do the self-pouring when you thought about this concept, or is it something that just kind of came about? Well, we, we've seen these before in Dallas and Las Vegas. Um, probably more necessary here because we have the boutique and the mm. boutique opens at 11 o'clock and we get some groups to come in book clubs at noon on a right. wednesday well the bar doesn't open until four o'clock right so they're able to try different wines with the machine here before the bar even opens now tell me what you recommend if somebody's like hey i'm gonna do the self-pouring just those you know not the ones on the mm -hmm. menu by the way i saw the skins that yes. is cool that I, I was I was talking to your yeah. wife and I'm like okay that's awesome yeah that's for the Bengals yes good to take to uh, what did you say tailgating yeah, and stuff yeah Bengals watch parties it's actually an orange wine yeah that's it's an orange you, wine that's yeah. amazing so what would you recommend somebody comes in here they don't even tell you what they like what would you recommend and what would you pair it with sure well first of all we recommend the the one ounce pour so they could try stuff right that's the ability of this machine but also we have some really high end wine in there that you can never get at a restaurant or a bar by the glass because they're not going to open that bottle right but this machine keeps them fresh for 30 days so they're able to try 100 and 150 dollar bottles of wine by the one ounce or a half glass to try some high-end wines that they never tried before N name one what's like right what's here, one of the high-end my favorite wine 
which is silver oak. Ooh. And these are $32 a glass, but people come in here and they want to try half glass for $16, and you're never going to get this at a restaurant or bar unless you buy the whole bottle. What kind is that? This is a Cabernet, Cabernet. Um, from Napa Valley. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. That's awesome. And, and so if somebody wanted something maybe a little bit on, I don't want to say the cheaper side, but something a little bit lower end, but still great tasting, what would you recommend? Sure. Everything we put in here, we make sure we've tried first. So we have wines as cheap as you know, eight, nine dollars a glass, all the way up to the thirty-two dollars a glass. And we have, usually have four rosés, four whites, and then um, eight reds. Ooh, that's awesome. So I know, you know, we took a little break for a second and somebody came in here looking for a bottle of wine. I, I want to know, like, you know, when somebody comes in and they just don't even know what they're doing or they're maybe they're not wine connoisseurs, how do you kind of read the body language and try to figure out what that person will like and want? I typically ask what they typically like. Um, do they like a sweeter wine, a drier wine, red, white, or rosé? We have options for everybody for sure. Um, but we ask them, are they going to do dinner with it? Is it just hanging out with friends? There's a lot of wines that are just great to just drink alone without food. Other wines you want to serve with food. Um, other wines, um, maybe something they never tried before, we can make a recommendation. And if they're really unsure, they could usually try something here before they buy oh, it. Tasting, yeah, that's Yes, great. all the bottles in the wine machine are available retail as well. That's awesome. So I did hear you mention that you have something every day of the week, some type of happy hour. Yes. So, so during the week, what are kind of like your special times during the day that people should pop in? Sure. From four to six, Tuesday through Fridays, we have $5 rosé and then all our beers on tap. So we do have beers here as well. Those are all $5 as well for pints. Um, then Tuesdays, we do discounts on our wine flights. Wednesdays, we do bottle and board. So if you buy a charcuterie board, you get half off a bottle of wine Ooh, to enjoy nice. with your board there. Thursdays, we do a discount in the boutique if you buy a wine flight. And then um, on the weekends are just normal weekends for us, and um, it's usually pretty busy in here. So we try to um, have all the options available on Fridays. And then on your end, I know it's kind of like you're the wine, you're the boutique. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you want to let the community know that to look forward to in your boutique? Any, I know you have fall stuff coming in, any like cool sales or new merchandise? Uh, well, this weekend we're doing just like a 20% off one item that's full price. Um, and we're just going to try and do that every so often so people can kind of check our Instagram, our Facebook, see what's going on this week or next. And then, like I said, there's going to be a big changeover for Christmas. And it's going to be real Christmassy in here. And I think we're going to have a pink tree, too, by our pink couch. So Photo op moment, really right? Photo yeah, ops. yeah. So one of the questions I really like to ask towards the end of the interviews is, is there anything that you want to share? And I usually like to think, hey, there's the community right in front of us. Is there anything that you want to share or voice to the Loveland community about your business or just in general? And I'll ask both of you. Yeah, I mean, for the community, they've been great. Um, everyone's welcomed us here. We've had a lot of local business owners come in here, people from the chamber, um, the mayor, people on city council, they've been here. We've had events hosted by the chamber here. So being the new kids on the block, they were very welcoming from the beginning. And I think the chamber told us that they want us to succeed even more than we want to succeed, oh. which was great. Um, I think they told, I talked to one of the restaurant owners here. She's like, if you run out of anything, even napkins, she goes, call one of the restaurants, they'll send them down. Wow. That's, and that's a community right there. Yes. That, it's always been like that too. And what about you, Colleen? Um, we just really love it here. Like he said, everybody has been very welcoming. We're just a little bit, I guess, over six months in business. It's been great. Um, we just need people to turn the corner and know we're here because once they know we're here, that they love it. Yeah. You know, and they keep coming back. Right. Right. And that, that's and that's when I when I first came in here, um, I was like, dang, this place is awesome. But more people need to know about it. You know. So hopefully this helps. Yes. You know, g get the word out there. And uh, obviously, you guys staying involved in the community that's going to help. That always helps. Um, well, I really appreciate you guys yeah, you. letting me come in um, on this beautiful windy day <laughs> the electricity stayed on though so we're good um well thank you guys and guys come down to rose boutique and wine bar um it's located basically right next to the fire station underneath loveland station apartments just turn the corner like colleen said just turn the corner and once you come in you're not going to want to leave well maybe they'll have to push you out at the end of the night but <laughs> yeah. all right guys thank you so much thank you. Thank, you. thank you we'll see you next time Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Please like and subscribe to the Loveland Magazine YouTube channel so you never miss a new video.